Hey everybody, I just got out of seeing Super Troopers 2 and uh, I wanted to give you my initial reaction for the movie and if you like the first movie, you will definitely like Super Troopers 2. Good morning and welcome to Movies Over Coffee. I am Jay of the Jay Craig Podcast. Super Troopers 2 is directed by Jay Chandrasekhar. Chandrasekhar, God, I've been practicing that forever, who directed Super Troopers, Club Dread, Beer Fest with his group, Broken Lizard. Uh, Jay also directed Dukes of Hazard, as well as a slew of other TV shows, including most recently The Goldbergs. Um, I like, I really like the first Super Troopers. I like the potty humor. I like the frat boyish relationships and the shenanigans of the Troopers. It's the team. It's the team themselves that makes the movie great for me. Um, as much as I liked Club Dread um, and their take on the horror parody, Super Troopers is by far my favorite movie of the Broken Lizard group. When I first heard about Super Troopers 2, I was less than 50-50. I really had no interest in seeing this movie or understand why they're even making it. Let's face it, movie sequels that come out 20 years after the original, well, that just stinks of desperation and rich mahogany. Yes, I'm talking to you, Anchorman 2 and Clerks 2. Now I realize Blade Runner 2049 recently did this and had great success. However, I'm going to gear my argument towards the comedies. Do we really want to see Spaceballs 2 now? No, we don't, because the magic is gone. The time in which it came out is gone. It's hard to capture that lightning in a bottle, especially twice. However, with Super Troopers 2, I thought they did a good job of keeping it fresh while still maintaining what made the original work. It has the guys, the camaraderie, the shenanigans, the hijinks, the childish and immature humor. It's all there, but the stage has changed. And instead of troopers versus the local police force, it's the troopers crossing the border and squaring off against the mere images of themselves in the French-Canadian Mounties. So what is Super Troopers 2 about? At the end of the first movie, they uh, lost their jobs as troopers and became the local police force, right? At the start of this movie, we're not told how much time has, has passed in between the two movies, but they have already lost their jobs in the local police department and now working in odd jobs and construction jobs. And they were fired for something that's only referred to as the Fred Savage incident, which is something that you'll find out much later in the movie. Mayor Linda Carter, a.k.a. the original Wonder Woman, and for many, for many including my wife, the only Wonder Woman, gives the Super Troopers uh, a chance to redeem themselves and provide law enforcement to a French-Canadian town that is transitioning into the United States. So it turns out that the border of Canada and Vermont was incorrectly drawn, and a small French-Canadian town run by Mayor Rob Lowe, who, by the way, is amazing in the movie, is actually part of the United States. So the meat of the story is how the Canadian town will react to becoming part of America, and how the troopers are treated, and the shenanigans that proceed. What Super Troopers 2 does right, by way of sequels, is take the original premise and expand upon that template. So we'll take a look at Hangover 1, 2, and 3. Similar stories, similar setup, different location. So Super Troopers 2 does something similar. They have a similar template, a uh, similar type of movie, new location. They've moved over and crossing borders, so it's changed location, changing the scope of the movie. Uh, but they also added something new, the Mounties. The Mounties that the Troopers have to work with during this transition is some of the best stuff of the movie. In the first Super Troopers, the police force was faceless, except for the captain that was at odds with the trooper captain and the blonde that had the relationship with one of our troopers. Here, the Mounties have an identity, something that was very much lacking in the first movie. Not only do they have an identity, but they have a face and something at stake. Imagine that, right? They are very much the mirror of their U.S. counterparts, and that's what drove the movie for me. Super Troopers 2 is very funny, and it's just as funny as the first. It has everything that the first one had, them pulling over people and having fun with it, their shenanigans and all the idiocy that, that they do with each other and against the other department that they're at odds with. But one thing that I really enjoyed about this movie was the anti-American jokes, and it's just great fun for that. Uh, how we perceive the nice Canadians versus how the rest of the world sees us, uh, the United States. So uh, some great stuff, and that's some of my favorite stuff of the movie. There are also a lot of dicks in the movie. Uh, now my wife said during the movie, there can never be enough dicks, but in this movie there are a lot of dicks. Overall, I was very satisfied with Super Troopers 2, especially since I didn't think the movie needed to be made. Now, I'm also not that big a fan of comedies these days, especially in the sequel department. But this movie did exactly what it should. It reminded us of the original, it made it fresh and current, and added new elements to help improve upon the original. That's what a sequel should do.
So in the spirit of 420, I hope you go see it. More importantly, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to leave me your comments below. Let me know what you thought about it. And also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button right there and follow the J. Craig Podcast. Thank you for joining me over Movies Over Coffee. Until next time, happy 420.